So where is all the money at in 2024? Everybody wants to make more money, so why not just create a video on how to make more money in 2024? So for those of you that are company drivers, owner operators, lease operators, this video is for you. And those of you that want to come into our industry, why not know where's the money at in 2024? Let's get started. So ever wondered what the pay difference is between a flatbed driver and a van reefer driver? In today's video, let's take both company drivers and owner operators. We'll see what the company drivers make and we'll see what the difference is in pay for those owner operators. So this video is going to be broken down into three parts. First, we'll get into what in the world do company drivers make. Then we're going to dissect what do owner operators make and the difference in pay between both company drivers and owner operators. And third, what in the world is the difference in the cost of equipment for flatbeds and dry vans? So let's get started. All right. So company drivers, we all know national average is probably around 65 cents per mile. Now, a long haul truck driver driver makes about 11,000 miles per month. So if you take 65 cents per mile and you multiply that by 11,000 miles, the gross earnings for a company driver working in the van division is $7,150 per month. Now it depends what state you live in or province you live in. That's when you get your deductions. Here in Ontario, we have the CPP, EU and EI. In the US, depending on what state you live in, you'll have your own deductions and then you'll have your net earnings. But in this video, we're talking about our gross earnings, both both for the van drivers, the flatbed drivers, and for the owner operators. Now, if the same driver worked in the flatbed division, producing 11,000 miles, he would be making 77 cents per mile. Now, if you take 77 cents per mile and you multiply that by 11,000 miles, you get $8,470. So if you take the two pays, $7,150, and you subtract that from $8,470, you get a difference of $1,320 which is the pay difference between a company driver working in the van division versus a company driver working in the flatbed division. Is that enough to get you going in the flatbed division? I have no idea. Only you can decide. All right, so now for the second part of this video, we're going to compare the cost associated with buying a dry van versus the cost associated with buying a flatbed. Now, when you're buying a dry van or flatbed in both scenarios, we're going to take brand new units. All right. Now, yes, you can, you know, for four year old units, you can really take this video and the numbers that I say and divided by half because that's what a four year old flatbed or a four year old dry van is going to cost you about half of what the brand new units cost. So dry vans currently you can pick them up anywhere for about $50,000 plus minus about $1,000. We're not going to get into it, but brand new units right now is about $50,000. Doesn't matter which maker model you take. Obviously, you know, some of them are just a little bit more expensive and there are others that are a little bit less expensive. So for the sake of this video, a dry van, we're going to take at $50,000. All right, so now we're going to look for what it actually costs us per month in order to buy a dry van. So what I've done is I've gone into this link. I'll link it down below. Basically, it'll tell me my payments on any purchase that you do. So here I'm going to put $50,000 because that's what our dry van costs us. We're going to put 9% interest rate because that is the norm right now for owner operators for small fleets. I think that 9% interest rate is reasonable. And the length of the term we're going to do is 60 months. So $50,000, 9% interest over the course of 60 months is going to give us $1,037. Now we're going to need to remember that number. So we will post it up right here, $1,037. Now we'll do the exact same thing with buying a flatbed. Now, when you're buying a flatbed, guys, we here at ET Transport, we use roll tights. In the US, they're called Conestogas. The reason we do that is because 99% of drivers, and we've done a poll on this with 3,000 drivers, and the reason why they would not consider running flatbeds is because they hate the tarping, they hate the chaining, they hate the strapping, but most of all they hate is the tarping. So 59% of those 3,000 drivers said that they hate the tarping. But if you remove the tarping from the equation, it is a lot easier to find flatbed drivers. That's why we here at ET Transport, we order roll tights, also known in the US as Conestogas. Now these Conestogas that we order are from a company called Verdun Tarps. The Conestoga they manufacture is the Eagle Tarp System. So since 2014, when we opened up our flatbed division, we've been ordering our Conestogas from 
Verdun tarps. The reason that I love using them so much is because they have four locations, two in Canada and two in the US. Detroit, Michigan, Gary, Indiana, Hamilton, Ontario, and Woodstock, Ontario. So we've been using Verdun tarps since 2014. Now we have over 35 roll tights and every year we purchase between three to four new roll tights. The reason we love the product is because it's durable, it's reliable, and honestly, if I go back to the first units that I've ordered in 2014, they are still intact and in great shape. So the biggest worry that I had when I ordered them at the beginning was the width. Now these trailers here have 102 wide clearance, meaning you can have a product loaded on your trailer that's 102 inches wide and you can still get that roll tight or that Conestoga, however you want to refer to it, you can still open and close it, which is excellent. The good news is that our friends over at Verdun Tarps have been gracious enough to give our audience a discount for a limited time click the link below. All right, so let's get back to the calculations. Remember, dry van $50,000 cost us $1,032. We'll put that number again right over here. Now, a flatbed today is going to run you about $60,000. Okay, tandem axle flatbed is going to run you about $60,000. Now, a roll tight system is going to cost you anywhere between $15,000 to $20,000, depending on the upgrades that you want. We get ours fully loaded, but again, they do have options. So we're going to tackle on over here into this finance calculator. We're going to put 60 plus 20, which is $80,000, okay? Now, both options, the van and the flatbed with the Conestoga roll tight, I'm put, putting here as an option with 0% down. So this roll tight is gonna cost us $1,660. So we have the monthly payment for these Conestogas at $1,660. So if you take $1,660 and we subtract it from $1,032, we have the difference in monthly payment between the dry van and the Conestoga roll tight. What is the difference? 1032 minus 1660. All right, so the difference in monthly payments is $628 between 1032 and $1,660. We have a difference of $628. Now let's get into part three of this video, which is the pay statements. Now, does the flatbed division outweigh the van division of more than $628? And is it actually worth it? So let's answer that question right now. All right, national average spot rate. So first we'll go into the van division, Currently right now for the month of January is $2.14 per mile as a national average on a round trip rate. Now in the flatbed division, we had $2.47 per mile. So now let's get into the pay statements of two different owner operators, one running with the van division and the other one in a flatbed division. So here we have pay statement number one. In both scenarios, both drivers drove 11,000 miles. So 11,000 miles, multiply that by $2.14 per mile, which is the national average for the van division. Give gives us a $23,000 $540 as gross earnings. Now here we have a driver pay of $7,150. We have fuel, which we calculated based on the national average. Now the national average that I took is $3.87 per gallon. Now the formula that I also use that is in the van division, the driver can drive at seven miles per gallon. And in my scenario for the flatbed division, I took six and a half miles per gallon because I believe that with the Conestoga roll tight over a van division, the wind drag is a little bit more and you consume more fuel when you're driving the flatbed. So let's continue with this pay statement. Now, tolls and bridges, it took $35. The truck payment that I took is $3,000 per month. Now we have the trailer, which is $1,037, which we came up with together on a brand new unit over the course of 60 months. It's gonna cost us $1,037. We have insurance, which is $2,000 per month month and then we have the load boards and the e-logs which is fifty dollars a month we have a grand total after we pay our driver left over four thousand two hundred and eighteen dollars again guys this is before taxes okay now let's do the exact same scenario for the flatbed division all right so let's get into what our flatbed driver made so driver driving in the flatbed division, 11,000 miles, $27,170, what he grossed out doing $2.47 per mile because that's the national average. Driving 11,000 miles, we got $8,250 to pay a company driver making 75 cents per mile. That's why we, we have this deduction over here. Now, second deduction, fuel, 6,050. Third deduction, tolls and bridges. Then 
then we have our $3,000 truck. We have $1,764 is what this flatbed is costing us with the roll tight on it, the Conestoga on it. Now, then we have $2,000 monthly payment for insurance and another $50 for our load boards and e-logs gives us $6,021. So now let's get into the pay difference, $6,021 versus $4,218. So we have a difference of 4,218 minus 6,021 is equal to $1,800, 1803 to be exact. So $6,021, $4,218. The difference between flatbed division versus the van division is $1,803, okay, is the net pay difference between driving vans versus driving the roll tights or the Conestogas out there. Is it enough for you guys to make that decision? Only you guys can decide. Well, hopefully you learned something from this video and this is where the money's at in 2024. Now, if you have any comments, which I'm sure you you do put them down below i'm ronin r-o-n-e-n and i'll catch you in my next video